It is Tuesday the 28th of May. Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. We've got uh, some windy cold weather on the way for Wednesday as another southerly change comes in. And then behind that, we're looking at some warmer winds coming in towards the end of the week and the start of the weekend. Let's make sense of what is going on at the moment. New Zealand lying right here on the edge of high pressure. This has been the high pressure belt that has dominated our weather across the month of May. We've seen two enormous areas of high pressure down here around Tasmania, centred at the moment over New South Wales, and by Saturday it'll be up here around northern New Zealand. So between low pressure out here, got a big stormy system down here in the Southern Ocean, and then on Wednesday a new low is going to form along the eastern side of the North Island. So between the low pressure out here and the incoming high pressure, we've got a squash zone. A straight line of windy southwesters, and they'll be coming in on Wednesday. So we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's carry on now with the setup with the wet weather coming in on Tuesday at night. This is tonight. You can see some wet weather here coming into the North Island, and then down in the south, another surge. So this is six o'clock this evening. Now watch the next 24 hours. It's kind of messy, but you'll see the secondary area of rain comes up to the North Island. And so by Wednesday night, a big windy southwester blowing through. Uh, in Auckland, and showers as well. I know that's quite scrappy to see, but that's kind of the point. And also uh, these white dots showing some snow falling on the mountains and ranges around the South Island. Rainfall wise, over the next couple of days, not a huge amount of wet weather coming in, mostly showers and some of that patchy rain. So the rainfall totals you see instead of yellow and gold here, that's where you're between 10 to 20 millimeters uh, coming through. For some of you along that western coastline, uh, same story on the west coast. Elsewhere, just a couple of showers coming in. Otherwise, it is dry for you. Here is lunchtime Wednesday. So here is the high pressure belt that we're talking about and the new low that is starting to form here. So that means this is the squash zone. Windy southwesters, they'll be gusting to gale force anywhere from Taranaki to Auckland, Coromandel Peninsula, in those exposed areas. And at the other end of the country, there is the southerly coming in for you. So another wintry kind of moment around Southland and Otago. Snow on the mountains and ranges and hills. Temperatures are down, wet weather, light the fire, make sure you're nice and warm and cozy. Wednesday is a bit of an unsettled day, really, right across New Zealand. So the maximum temperatures, they are down. Uh, South Islanders, you're probably not complaining too much, but you might find a few Aucklanders and those in Waikato complaining about the 13s and the 14s or the 12 over here in Bay of Plenty. Not exactly the warmest of days for the North Island when there's been 17s and 18s lately. And uh, I can hear the South Islanders with their little violin out. Here's how Thursday looks. So the cold pulse of air in that blue line right there. So easterners uh, around Banks Peninsula northwards. If you're on the eastern side of the North Island all the way up to Bay of Plenty, it is a colder Thursday for you with that southerly coming in or southwesterly if you're on the other side there. But as the high drifts towards us, this airflow out of Queensland and New South Wales drifts in to the South Island. So the South Island starts to warm up as does the western side of New Zealand as this airflow comes out of our Australian friends. And by Friday, not a great deal of change. In fact, subtropical air now coming down. So you might be surprised. Have a look at your temperatures. Uh, around the South Island on Friday, not too bad. Some places into the late teens even, as that nor'wester cranks up. Beautiful clear skies over here in the east. I know you need rain in Canterbury. Unfortunately, this is not a good setup for that. Uh, farmers over here, happy to see some wet weather for Australia. And then as we go into Saturday, here comes the next cold change in the south, but that warmer weather remains further northwards, and now North Islanders turn to warm up. So June the 1st, which is the first day of winter on the meteorological calendar, pretty mild across a number of regions as that band of rain moves in. Now Sunday and Monday, the maps have changed. Let's just go back quickly to that last one here on Saturday. High pressure, two of them and this little line of rain, and then we jump to Sunday and it's gone, and this is all a big block of high pressure, and now we've got a stormy low off the coast of Sydney. And it might stay that way until Monday, but don't totally lock this in. It might still change, because you could just see how quickly that map changed between uh, the Saturday and the Sunday one. So we're keeping an eye on what is going on here for next week. For now, New Zealand's under this big protective layer of high pressure, but if that high pressure zone splits in any way, this system's worth keeping an eye on. And that does look quite nasty for Australia. But again, I wouldn't lock it in just yet. Watch this space, as they say. 
That is all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow, Wednesday. We'll update you on this. And of course, use your local forecasts at Rural Weather, Weather Watch, and our new app to drill down even deeper. We'll see you on Wednesday.